What do paper books, vinyl records, film cameras, and fixed gear bikes all have in common? Yes, they are all overpriced things that hipsters are really into, and all each have a cult following of their own. But there's also a good reason for that, and it's not that they have a cult following despite their limitation, but because of their limitation. For us that are in the cult of fixed gear, we always say that it's the most fun that we've had on a bike. And it's just an experience that you can't get on any other type of bike. And Fix Your Bikes just have a vibe that really speak to us. Shout out to Wobby Cycles for sponsoring this three minute Thursday video series. To learn how to get the most fun out of your bike in 180 seconds or less, be sure to check out our other three minute Thursday videos by clicking the card above or by sticking around to the end of the video. And if I convince you that you want to try out a Fix Your Bike through this video, be sure to check out Wobby Cycles linked in the description. I have a smartphone an e-reader, and a paper book. And you can see these on a spectrum from being super useful to not all that useful, but also from giving you a very rich experience to having an experience that's fine, it gets the job done, but isn't all that fun. And the same is true in the bike world. This is an e-bike. I would say this is a geared bike. This is a fixed gear. And yes, fixed gears are way more limited than say geared bikes or even e-bikes, but because of their limitation and the experience and the fun that it brings in using them, they still have a cult-like die-hard following. Yes, a geared bike definitely has more utility than a fixed gear bike. But in my experience, riding a geared bike isn't nearly as fun as riding a fixed gear because there's a lot of distractions. I find that when I ride a geared bike, I'm always wondering, oh, am I in the optimal gear? How hard should I be pedaling versus how hard should I be spinning? It's a whole mess, at least for me. And all of that convenience and complexity distracts me from just the simple act of riding the damn bike. And for me, riding a fixed gear is a much richer experience because it's so simple. Because I can't do anything about being suboptimal, I have to focus in with no distractions, just me and the bike, and just be completely absorbed in the activity, and I find that a lot more fun. There's a quote that I really like from this airplane designer, I'm not going to try to pronounce his name, but here it is, and it is, Perfection is not achieved when there is nothing more to add, but when there is nothing left to take away. And when I look at a fixed gear, that's exactly what I see. And because of its limitation, it gives you such a pure experience that's easy to lose yourself in. Fun is hardwired into the culture of fixed gear riding. No matter where I've been, Mexico, Taiwan, Thailand, Singapore, here, the fixed gear culture is usually mostly the same, and it's all about people that are just wanting to have fun on their bikes, and wanting to have bikes that are super fun to ride and super fun to look at and share with other people. We don't care that we're riding sub-optimally, because to fix your riders, there's way more important things in life than optimization. If I really just wanted to optimize getting from point A to point B, I would just drive a car. People spend a ton of money on fixed gears for the same reasons that people spend a ton of money on concerts or vacations or going to fancy restaurants. It's because it gives us an unforgettable experience. It makes us feel alive. And with a fixed gear bike, it's the highlight of my day. And it's a small thing that makes me feel alive every day. I'll leave you with this quote. I don't ride to add days to my life. I ride to add life to my days. The Fixie Family shout out to Brandon Black, David K, Gio DeZero, Julian Corona, Ryan Witt, Scott Polongi, and Zane Kolnick for helping to make these videos possible through their support on Patreon. And remember that life is short, but don't make it shorter, so be sure to ride your bike, whether it's a fixed gear or not, <laughs> every day to be reasonably dangerous.